Serious discovery in an abandoned storage unit has finally been solved. Three wooden boxes with cremated remains sat on a shelf for two years until the Lincoln County coroner tracked down relatives. The remains were found in Winfield. The relatives from the look of the Ozarks, News 4's Russell Kinsaw met in Jefferson City today. When the ashes were returned, it's a story you'll see only on 4 tonight. Let's start with Miss Loretta. There she is. The long journey of cremated remains of a husband, wife, and son finally over. They were found in an abandoned storage unit at Winfield Storage, and a local funeral home tried and failed to find the next of kin. Recently, a Lincoln County Sheriff's deputy was appointed county coroner and learned of the remains. He indicated that he had gotten them about two years ago, and he attempted to locate family but was unable to locate anybody for him. And uh, I told him that I would love the opportunity to try to reunite those remains with their family. Within a week, the remains were on their way to a meeting in Jefferson City. Relatives had been found living near the Lake of the Ozarks, Philip and Carolyn Steidel. It is awesome that he went out of his way to, to do this. Loretta Leach, who died in 2011, was Philip's sister. John Leach, her husband, died in 2004, and their son, Bob Leach, died in 2006. The family is from the St. Anne and St. John area of North St. Louis County. The family business was in St. John's uh, in St. Louis, and uh, it was a cabinet company. It's still a mystery how the cremated remains ended up in Winfield. Well, the only thing I can think of is their one son, Steve, uh, must have put him in there when he got ill. The Steidels say they've lost contact with Steve, the nephew, but are grateful that deputy and coroner Ryan Parker found them. We wanted those remains so that we could give them a proper burial. Parker says it's part of his service to the community. Anytime we can have a positive ending, especially in this line of work, it's, it's the best. In Jefferson City, Russell Kinsall, News 4.